Today we are going to be discussing Petals of Blood by Ungugiwan Tiongo. Ungugiwan Tiongo is a Kenyan writer, a popular African novelist who has published a lot of novels and other critical writing. We are going to be looking at the plot of the novel Petals of Blood. We are going to be discussing the themes in the novel also. And finally, we are going to be looking at the characters and the roles they play. Our uh, Petals of Blood is set in, Ken in Kenya. Um, bulk of the actions took place in the rural area called Umarok. So, the first chapter of the novel projects the end of the novel. Project the end of the story. In the sense that uh, at the beginning, the first chapter, we saw that uh, a bus businessman died. And then one, one education is which is Kariga. And we saw that Wanja was hospitalized and uh, Munira was imprisoned. So from the big, from the second chapter, we saw the beginning of the story where Munira, who is an educationist, journeyed to Umarok, an immigrant to Umarok, who is a teacher. So when he came, he was teaching in the school in the in the village of Umarok. And um, what happened was that he, the people did not take him very serious because several teachers have come to the village of Umarok before and they do not spend much time. They spend a little time in the village and then leave. So the people were also thinking that uh, uh, um, uh, Munira also will be one of the people that will, will, just like other teachers will come teach for a while and live. Uh, in this novel, unlike the conventional stories we have where we have a single protagonist or a hero, in this novel we have tier, four major protagonists. We have Wanja, we have Munira, we have Abdullah, then we have uh, Kariga. So all this can be said to be protagonist of the novel because all of them play major and key roles in the novel. So at the beginning, as I said, Munira journeyed to the to the village of Umarok and then he started a teaching career there, teaching the student. Though the students were very few because many of the parents do not want to release their children. The reason was because several teachers who have visited the village before only came to come and teach for a while and leave. They only teach for a while and leave. They only teach for some days and leave. So, uh, Munira, they were also suspecting that Munira will just come teach for a while and then leave. So, but Munira was there, was there teaching and um, building a career in the village of Umarok. And we saw another character who is also a, an immigrant called Abdullah. Abdullah comes to the village. Abdullah comes to the village and then he started the business. He's opened a shop to sell uh, consumable goods. And from there he opened a bar. So when he opened a bar, he was selling in the shop and at the same time operating a bar. Then we saw that another character comes to the village called Wanja. Wanja is a beautiful lady, a married woman from the city, from Nairobi. So he came to the village. He's an experienced bar woman, bar maid, has been working in bar for some time. Um, from there, we also saw that uh, uh, she's a granddaughter of a highly respected woman in Umarok village. So when Wanja came, Abdullah, who I said owns a shop and a bar, employee Wanja as a barmaid, and Wanja started working with uh, Abdullah. And um, from there, Munira and Wanja fell in love. When they fell in love, the relationship was moving well. At a point, uh, Wanja became disinterested, no longer interested in the relationship, was worried. And then Wanja left the village for Nairobi, for city. And then the people, Kariga came. Kariga is a friend of Munira. When Kariga arrived in Umarok, he also asked Munira whether 
he has contact with uh, one of their friends, Syriana. Then I has contact with one of their friends, Syriana. So, uh, from there, Kariga was employed as an um, assistant teacher in the village school. And then he started working and assisting Munira. So, in the next chapter, the village do not have a bountiful harvest. The people were disappointed because rain did not fall early. The harvest was sparing. They do not have much to eat. And in order not to suffer hung hunger, Kariga encouraged the villagers that they should go to the city and meet the members of the parliament so that they will assist, provide some kind of aid and support for the villagers. So the people bought the idea and they journey all the way from Umarog to Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. In their journey, one of the boys called Joseph, who was working with uh, uh, Abdullah, and Abdullah even adopted him as, as, uh, as a child. So Joseph fell ill along the road, was seriously ill. And uh, then the people in the city were not concerned about the value. They did not even value the life of the villagers. So Joseph was taken to a pharmacist where he was helped. He was administered help. He was treated. And then the people joined to the parliamentary house. But they were frustrated. They were stopped. And then kept in a building that belongs to a man called Kimeria. Then Kimeria began to question them. They were a head hostage in the house. Kimeria was questioning them. And then from there, he raped Wanja. Note that I say Wanja was a very beautiful woman. And Wanja had a husband before. So Kimeria raped her. And then lay allegation on her that uh, she is uh, a she she's a terrorist. She's a criminal. So that blackmail uh, do not go well with the villagers. So they try to as much as possible to meet the uh, the parliamentarians, the member of the parliament. So one of the person that helped them was a lawyer because the people were not paying attention. So the lawyer wanted to help them. So that they can, so that the court will order the members of the parliament or the parliament to attend to the situation of the people. So that was uh, what happened. They uh, they get support and donation later, and then they return to Umarok. So when they return to Umarok, uh, rain began to fall. The people were very happy that rain have started, and at the same time. We are very delighted that uh, their gods have answered their prayer in the coming rain. So they celebrated and at the same time they started planting. They started planting. Uh, we saw that uh, Kariga was still having the contact of the lawyer and he was still communicating with the lawyer. So the people in the village began to do one alcoholic uh, locally made wine called Uyankiwa. Uyankiwa. It's a it's a local brew. So the, it was taken from uh, Tangeta plants. So the people were enjoying it. Uh, several people were picking interest in drinking that Uyankiwa. Uh, the name is from Swahili. So please forgive me if I did not pronounce it well. So we are with the influence of that Uyankiwa. Kariga began to tell the story about himself, how he had relationship with Mokami, a married woman, and then older sister of Munira, how he had affair with her, and then this did not go well with many people, especially the parent of a Mukami, and it really led to a lot of uh, challenges. And as a result of the allegations and disgrace and chastisement that uh, uh, Mukami had, Mukami committed suicide. He died as a result of those accusations because people, the people were not aware of her affair with Kariga before until the influence of the alcoholic drink made Kariga 
to voice out to reveal the secret so we saw that uh, later in the story a plane crash the plane crash in the village fortunately for the people that boarded the plane nobody died but the horse of abdullah died the plane crashed on the horse and the horse died so when the horse died the people that came out were all still celebrating that at least they did not die so even the people that survived the plane crash we are having interest in that in yakua yakua uh wine and several people began to come to the village like uh, journalists uh freelance journalists different tv stations said they are reporters and correspondents to cover the plane crash in the village so the privilege became popular and it began to develop and the state government also started a construction of a trans-african road in the village so when the state government also started a trans-african road construction there were a lot of a development the village was turning to a new town and trade was going on the villagers were also selling their lands because several people were interested in buying land and we saw that uh, one jar who has been working with uh, uh, abdullah having a relationship with munira broke the relationship with munira and enter a relationship with kariga so munira was not happy with this development but you know as a matured lady he cannot question one jar why she decided to leave uh, him and go to another man so wanja also have land landed property in the village and because of the demand even banks were coming to buy land because of the demand for land the people now wanja also decided to sell her land so he sold one of her lands and then used the proceeds to build a brote so when she built the brote several men several men were coming to have affair with her several men were coming to have affair with her then it, she later finally turned to a prostitute we had several men were coming so at the point she decided to be from munira alone so when she decided to be from munira alone towards the end of the novel he invited all the suitors all the people having an affair with her to inform them formally that she will no longer be having an affair with them that she want to build a family with munira and she also invited munira so that she can tell the people in the presence of munira unfortunately when munira saw the people in the brote he was so jealous and out of envy jealousy and anger decided to set the brote ablaze she pour petrol on the brote and set it on fire. So the other the other men in the the including Kariga in the brote died, but Wanja was able to escape, though she has inhaled a lot of smoke, and she was having a lot of challenges. She was rushed to hospital, and she was responding to treatment. She was responding to treatment, and. What happened was that Munira, who set the brute ablaze, was arrested by the police, was tried in the court, and imprisoned. So at the end of the novel, almost all the characters lost. Wanja recovered, but yet he lost all the men that were with her before, and at the same time, he lost Munira. And Munira also lost to Tali, both his job, and then wanja he was sentenced to life imprisonment where there is no hope of coming back to having to have any affair with uh, munira again so we saw that uh, the end of the play the end of the novel also correspond with the first chapter where there was allegation that uh, some businessmen and education is the education is, the education which is kariga died and then um, from there we have the characters in the novel uh we have character like munira munira is an educationist a protagonist in the um in the novel who is a school teacher uh, who has been working in the umarok village 
and also we have another character abdullah a businessman in the village who is an immigrant to umarok village he was a very profound man he was loved by the umarok people by the villagers and then he has a shop he opened a bar his business was blossoming was increasing was growing then we have wanja who is wanja the beautiful lady who have a, who had affair with many men in the novel first of all he had a, she had a relationship with munira then kariga and other men in the village of umarok was a very beautiful and several people were uh, interested in her later she built a brother and was working as a prostitute when she decided to have affair with only Munira, that was when Munira got angry and set the place ablaze. Then we have Kariga. Kariga also is a, is a main, is a vocal protagonist in the play. In the sense that uh, he used to talk a lot in the village and he used to voice out his opinion. So he is a young man and then he's a teaching assistant at uh, Munira school. Then we saw that uh, he became frustrated with the small village and decided to head for a bigger city where he becomes uh, attracted to the concept of uh, socialism. He worked with the Mau Mau uh, protest, the Mau Mau people. Mau Mau were the people who were protesting against this injustice being perpetrated by the government. So, in our next um, video we are going to be discussing the themes in the novel we have the theme of passion and love yes you can see love and passion in the novel and then we have other themes like the theme of uh, frustration who was frustrated in the novel when we get to the next video you will know better so if you should subscribe and click the notification bell so that when the new videos on this novel are uploaded you will get notified okay thank you